Hi guys, it's Thomas here from cotbase.com. Welcome to our weekly COT review. Today we're going to be analyzing the 16th Commitments of Traders Report of 2023. And as we always do, we shall start off by looking at the largest changes in commercials and net positions. Before we jump to the review, just a brief reminder for those who are new to COT analysis. Here at cotbase.com, you'll find a lot of educational material, not only in written format, but we have some very useful videos as well that will guide you through the analysis process, explaining to you step by step how you can benefit from this valuable information that is published by the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. This is a weekly data. Uh, however, we have prepared a indicator that is useful in the shorter time frames. We're going to talk about that shortly. Um, but starting off with our first market in this review, we shall look at lumber. You can see it is on top of our list with a 35% change in commercials net positions. We are analyzing the classic or legacy data, the combined futures and options data. So opening lumber and having a look at that change uh, size on the charts themselves. You can see it over here. Uh, red line, of course, representing commercials, green line representing large speculators, and then on a separate scale chart, due to the fact that small speculators, or as CFTC calls them, non reportables, are trading in a much smaller volume, usually. Uh, not necessarily that visible on, on lumber, but in, in, in other markets, it's there's, there's quite the change between them. Um, in sizes, uh, they are on a separate scale chart. So we have this larger than average change in commercials. It is a bearish COT chain signal. What I don't like about it is that we have had an, uh, a, a decline in the market already. Um, so it's maybe something I would not act upon. Uh, if we move to the five years chart, we can uh, examine the stress levels in this market, which as you can see are still closer to bullish COT extreme levels. We're not surprised since lumber uh, has uh, come down uh, quite significantly since uh, 2022. Um, as you can see in the past, whenever we had a bullish COT extreme, it actually coincided with a bottom in the market. So we are expecting in the medium to long term, but this can mean a couple of months or possibly a year or two to, to see lumber rise. Uh, but of course, in that waiting period, we, we can expect a, a possible further decline in prices in the lumber market. The next market is going to be copper. Um, so a metal market. Here we have a 26 report, 26% uh, change. My Apologies there. 26% change in commercials net positions. You can see the chain size over there. Uh, I would say top 10 uh, changes. Again, we are witnessing a bearish COT chain signal during a decline in the market. So um, not the best uh, combination. If we move to the five years chart, we can examine the stress levels. You can see that back over here, in mid 2022, we had a bullish extreme in the market. Nothing exceptionally large. We have seen greater extremes in the past, but it was large enough to, to really end this decline in copper. And now we can see uh, prices going a bit higher. Um, and I, I thought we haven't, I'm not sure if I've shown you copper um, in the trading view and, and showing you the ICOT intraday indicator. But for those who are interested in a, a tool that's similar to the classic COT analysis that we do, I, I figured I'll just offer you uh, an example here on copper. Uh, and this is actually, usually I start from a, a wider a time frame, but this is a one minute candlestick chart. So it's just um, the, the end uh, as it closed and it, it I think it gives you a good perspective of what the indicator is capable about um, um, and of course there you know uh, I'm, I'm acknowledging that this is in a way uh, marketing this this tool but I do feel uh, with the many many years of experience uh, we have that combining the two tool sets a longer term uh, tool from the classic COT analysis with a shorter term tool the ICOT intraday indicator we can actually benefit from both worlds understanding where the market is headed and then using these shorter time frames to to really pinpoint when you want to enter an exit and i think it's just really really beautiful to see how the system catches tops 
uh, and bottoms, as you can see, a very, very good example over here on copper. But of course, you can, you know, scale back and, and look at a 50 minutes a time frame and, and uh, you'll see a bit less uh, signals, of course, but it's still there and, and, and very, very valuable data. And of course, if you go back to a, an hourly chart, um, uh, you might see even less uh, trades, but hey, you, you don't necessarily want to catch. As you can see, we've got bearish signals from the indicator, yet we're not entering those trades, uh, but only when the price is actually going deep enough and, and, and confirms this, this last signal. So I think this is actually a very accurate example of how you can benefit from the after signal part of the indicator, um, which, which helps you uh, filter out uh, certain signals. That's happening over here. But of course, that's all um, for the indicator. We do have a lot of information on the website. If you have any questions, feel free to send us an email or just comment underneath the video. Back to the review and continuing with platinum, another metal market, 26%, the same exact uh, change in commercials net positions in platinum as we saw in copper. Um, we're gonna go back to the five years just a second, but to see this change size, it's easier on one year time frame. And if you look at the magnitude, uh, it's not, not just simply larger than average, but I actually would consider this to be the largest change in the past one year. So of course, COT chain signals measuring the uh, week to week changes in traders position compared to a look back period, which in this case is 52 weeks. By the way, you can actually change that from 52 weeks uh, to any uh, week that you want. Um, it's, it's, it's up to you really. It's, it's not, a, not, a, not a must to use the 52 week, uh, but uh, I think uh, it's, it's, it's enough. It's, it's a shorter, shorter time frame tool. Uh, one year is sufficient amount of, of data. Uh, to compare that that recent one so and, and the good thing is here that we have a uh, an inclining market uh, and we get we're getting a bearish uh, cot chain signal so this suggests that we could see a bit of a, a cooling off in this this sudden rise in platinum uh, moving on to the five years chart here you go you can see that uh, similarly to copper we had a bullish extreme back in mid last year and we are uh, and that coincided with the bottoms over here and then the, the market pushing higher. And as, as, as that is happening, of course, uh, we can see traders uh, uh, changing their positions accordingly. Now, one might ask, is this time to go short? Well, the, the shorter time frame signal, the COT chain signal suggests we could see a bit of a decline. However, I don't think those those last too long. So in the longer time horizon, I I'd, I'd want to see something uh, to this magnitude. I'm showing it to you from uh, January of 2020, a bearish signal of that magnitude to really uh you know switch my attention or or, or my belief system in, in a platinum overall i think metals if you look at the cot data generally speaking is is in a in, in a bull market right now um and uh this is not the level of uh, extreme that i'd be you know expecting a top to happen uh it can of course uh this may be an interim top uh, but uh, if that happens, of course, I'd, I'd expect traders to to start switching towards uh, their positions towards uh, bullish extremes again. So you can see if you take this horizontal line that there's definitely space left for uh, commercials to reach even greater uh, extremes. Moving on to large speculator COT extreme analysis, we have two markets, lean hogs and the South African RAN. Uh, on top of our list, let's open lean hogs. And you might see that we have large speculators at uh, an all time extreme and also small speculators. Now, um, usually uh, small speculators are uh, correlating with large speculators. However, um, in my experience, in the case of livestock markets like lean hogs, because there are a lot of uh, commercial participants who do not reach those reporting limits, uh, they are categorized into small speculators. So as you can see, the correlation is actually uh, stronger with uh, uh, commercial participants. So uh, it is a bullish um, extreme, no question about that, a bullish COT extreme suggesting higher prices. So uh, there's definitely space for lean hogs to reach higher uh, price levels, and that's what the report is telling us. The next market is the South African RAN. Here we have all-time extreme and commercial positions and large speculators at the same time. Uh, it's nice to see that we have had a, a decent decline in the 
uh, South African Rand compared to the US dollar and we are getting this bullish extreme. It's been present for a couple of weeks now. Nothing really happened. Uh, it's there. Anybody trading this currency pair uh, can uh, acknowledge this, this extreme, uh, suggesting we should be witnessing higher prices in the next couple of weeks and months ahead of us. And last but definitely not least, we have the wheat. Of course, we have different wheats. Uh, when it's just wheat in the system, we're talking about the Chicago wheat. Uh, here we have a 272 report extreme, uh, quite significant in large speculators. It's, it's, it's visible in, in uh, commercials as well, of course. And again, we are uh, seeing a decline in the market. This is suggesting uh, greater prices coming in the medium to long term. Uh, that is all for this review. Of course, there's much more to do here. If you're somebody who's trading a specific market, let's just stay at wheat. You can actually choose wheat and uh, have a look at uh, that. You can see I talked about there's three different, the Chicago, Kansas City, and Minneapolis wheat. So here's the, the Chicago wheat, and you can actually dig into the data uh, if you wanted to. Uh, if you would like, you can actually uh, download the data if you're a pro member. Uh, and you can uh, actually use the pro indicator on ninja trader uh, and, and see all these tools in your own platform and the icot intraday indicator in two formats the icot uh, showing the signals but without the after signal tool set and then of course with the tool set that i just showed to you on copper is also available here i appreciate your attention thank you very much for being with me i wish you guys a wonderful weekend and I'm hopeful that you'll join me in my next COT review. Take care. Goodbye.